Hi guys, how to create the life you want? I know, I want to. <laughs> I know, I'm still putting this, this amazing revelation into practice. I'm glad you're here. This is going to be banging, guys. Pen and paper, wherever you are. Get, get, get still because the revelation is about to drop. Hello, guys. Welcome to part two of creating what you want, being able to create what you want, literally by just following from simple foot, uh, some simple steps even, and um, just realizing that the ability to create was given to you by God and you are a creator. So whether you believe it's the universe, whether you believe it's the, uh, um, power of God that's working, most importantly, learn to believe, learn to believe, learn to believe. And Jesus Christ said that whatever mountain you speak to, it shall be done, it shall be removed. So I'm not just going to stand here and pray with you and uh, suggest that, you know, we shout at the top of our voices and try and move some mountains. I'm going to take you through step by step as to how to move mountains, how to move mountains out of your life, how to stay persistent. The Bible says be consistent in prayer, in thanksgiving. The mistake that a lot of us making is that we don't give thanksgiving right now. We're not giving thanksgiving. We're not giving enough thanksgiving. Whatever you go through is not a surprise to God. It's not a surprise to God at all. He knows exactly what you're going through. He knows exactly what you're facing. And he knows, he knows that, um, he knows how to use those situations most importantly. And this is, this is one of the beautiful things that we learn, that God uses the things of the wise to confound, of the fool even, to confound the wise. Um, he, he is so wise in his in his in his actions in his in his ways that he before the i realized one time when god was dealing with me in the spirit that he would often tell me the solution before the problem would come and i and i noticed that any problem that you face has a solution has a solution if you're willing to to be still like the like the word says and 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 no, not not believe. No, there's a different level from believing and knowing. We're trying to get you to knowing the character of God, knowing the goodness of God, knowing that you're righteous. All of these amazing, amazing things, and um, you are the benefactor of this. As long as you can see God in it, if it's not, if you don't see God in it for for whatever reason. And I pray that your eyes be opened now in Jesus' name. Um, then don't follow it half-heartedly. The Michael Favor channel is something that you follow, that you put your heart into, you believe all of your heart, all of your soul, and and God rewards you. He 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 turns you into a shining light. So we're gonna start looking at how to speak to mountains and how to get mountains out of your way. And realizing that mountains have to listen to their creator. I'm coming back.